Hello and welcome to another Geist quick tip. We're going to take a look at the slicers classify function. We're going to be using it to take the pattern from one loop and applying it to the audio from another loop. I'm going to load the first loop into the slicer. Classify mode allows me to specify what kind of drum hit each slice in my loop is. Here we can see a kick drum. Here a snare, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat. Now Guy seems to have done a pretty good job so I'm not going to correct anything here. What Geist is doing is laying out each of the classifications onto different rows of our pads here. All kicks, the blue classifications, go on row 1. Snares, which are red, go on row 2. Hi-hats, which are yellow, go on row 3. And any percussion goes on row 4. If I click done, we have our loop playing back there as it should. Now because Geist knows where the kicks, snares and hi-hats are in this loop, if we classify a different loop, we can then swap out the audio or pattern in a meaningful way. So I'll load a different loop into the slicer. It's important at this point to disable auto load because we don't want the pattern and audio from this loop, we just want one or the other. Auto load automatically extracts both. Once again, the classifications look quite good here. Kick, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat, hi-hat, etc. So I'll just take the audio from this loop by pressing the extract audio button. And that has taken the audio from this loop and put it onto our pads. Kicks on row one, snares on row two, hi-hats on row three, and percussion on row 4. I click done. The pattern however is from the previous loop so here's what that loop should sound like. Here's our original loop and pattern and here's our hybrid loop and pattern. Of course it's not just loops that we can use for the source of audio. If I go to the factory presets and load up any kit, the kits are actually laid out in the same way. Kicks on row 1, snares on row 2, hi-hats on row 3 etc. So these will play back the same pattern again. our original loop and our hybrid loop. So if you've ever wondered what that Amen break sounds like played on an 808, now's your chance to find out.